Hey fam, how you doing? Chino here. Hey, I got a question for you. How many of you out there have actually had to claim that you're an American in a foreign country? You know, because when we're at home, we never say we're American, right? Um, now, if you're in the military, you are exempt from answering this question because you guys have to do it all the time. They look at you and they know, they know right? If you're, if you're serving overseas. But civilians, okay, how many of you out there have actually had to claim that you're an American? Um, it, it's pretty wild, it is, it is, you know, uh, being in a foreign country and, and uh, having people look at you in a weird way because you're an American or they think you're an American. Let me give you an example. I was in Taiwan a long time ago. We were in the airport we're waiting for our flight. And this little Asian guy, he walks up to me and he said, he asked me, he says, uh, why do you have uh, the American flag tattooed to your leg? And I said, because I'm American. And he looks at me and he says, fuck America. And I was like, well, fuck you. And he said, fuck America. And he says this louder. I was like, well, fuck you. And so we're sitting there, we're cussing each other out, right? His wife runs over, tried to pull him away, and now it's a big thing, right? Police are coming over and they're asking what's going on, the security, and, and I, don't know, I don't know what his problem is. And so, you know, he goes away, his wife is calm, and they're pulling him away, right? And then so I started to think to myself, I was like, damn, why would he walk up to me and say something like that? Why would he say, why would he say F America, right? But then again, you have to think, you know, maybe Americans did something to him. Maybe we did something, you know, we, we be doing some stupid shit out there sometimes, right? So, um... Been a couple of situations like that where I had to basically say that I'm American and have people just jump off the handle, right? Well, nothing really actually escalated, but you know, more than that. But you know, it's it, it's kind of scary at times. You put yourself in a situation where you actually have to say that you're an American. I'm not going to back down from that. You know, I don't care where I'm at. But um, but being in and being in Japan is pretty trippy because you know when they look at me because my mother's Japanese. I've been called Samoan, Filipino, um, Hawaiian, Italian. One time I was called, um, some dude thought I was African American. You know, some, I get, I get really, really dark in the summer. I don't know, maybe that had something to do with it, but he thought I was African American. And, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's by, by, by the way I look, a lot of people, you know, I can pass as Japanese as well, right? So a lot of people, they really don't know how to, 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 to judge me as far as nationality is concerned because of the way I look. But when I first came out here 23 years ago, I used to tell children that I am from America. And it's just to freak them out because it was like, there's no way that you're from America. I was like, why would you say something like that? Because you don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. And I was like, damn, it's like that? Is that how you view Americans? Not... Keep in mind, this is 23 years ago. This is a lot different now. But, uh, yeah, yeah, after that, you know, I would, I would just tell people that I'm American. And they look at me crazy. There's no way that you're from America. Um, so I just stopped calling myself American. I used to just say that, well, I'm Mexican-American. I'm Mexican-American. I'm Chicano. I'm Mexican-American. I'm Chicano. I'm Mexican-American. And then one day, I was at this uh, meeting at the A. Kaiwa school that I was teaching at. And we were all giving our self-introductions at this party. And uh, this Japanese girl, she used to live in L.A. As a matter of fact, she used to live in Little Tokyo. And if you are familiar with the L.A. area, when, and you know that uh, Little Tokyo, the surrounding area is, you know, you're right there downtown L.A. It's, it's pretty nasty at times. And uh, she walks up, she, she pulls me aside and she says, you know, Tino... I noticed that you call, you, you claim that you're Mexican-American a lot. I think that you should, you know, because you look, you look Japanese, you can pass as, as Japanese as well. You should consider, you know, claiming that you're Japanese-American. That would be a lot better. I'm like, well, why would you say something stupid like that? Well, I don't mean to offend you, but don't. Mexican Americans or or Chicanos have a negative image in America, and I was like, no. Why would you say something like that? Why would you think something like that? Well, when we were in L.A., well, just never mind. I I think it would be better 
if you claim to you that you're you, if you would say that you are Japanese American opposed to saying that you're 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 Mexican American. I mean, it would be better for your image. I was like, I don't care what people think about me. I'm not gonna say that I'm Japanese American. I don't know what that is. And then, so she says, well, like I said, I don't mean to offend you, but it would be better for you. I was like, you know what? You need to go over there because uh, I just want to kick you in the back of the neck right now because that's some stupid shit that you're saying right now. And then so she was like, well, I'm sorry for offending you. I said, you did offend me. And then so I, 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 I really, really got pissed off because she was, she, was, she was talking about my people. And I was like, damn, is that the image that we have, you know, to be... Mexican American is that the the image that 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 we have? It just made me want to claim Mexican American more. Uh, being in Japan, me being Mexican American, a lot of people will never ever meet a true Chicano in their lifetime, right? Um, so uh, I have to represent my people accordingly. Uh, and they see me, they see me as a hard-working individual. They see me as someone who is uh, dependable, dedicated, punctual, and will go above and beyond. And so, you know, I'm proud to say that I'm Mexican-American. I'm proud to say that, 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 that I do things the way uh, I was raised to do. I have good eth uh, work ethics. Yeah, but just uh, food for thought, you know. We Americans, we have a, a really negative image sometimes and to be Mexican American you know I, I used to think that people just didn't like us out here for a long time and then I started to see the uh, the Japanese people who really really love the Mexican American culture the Chicano culture out here it made me feel good inside you know it really, really did, because Japanese people, they got a lot of love for Chicano Brown, you know? No, oh, but anyway. I'm going to finish my midnight slack. As a matter of fact, it is midnight. And, um, let you guys think about that. I'm American. Love you guys and have a great Sunday, okay? Peace.